Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. If you want to see the fall pieces that I found at Target, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's look at these pieces together. While I was preparing to film this video, usually when I'm drinking coffee or having toast or something, I'll watch other YouTubers, right? Because I binge watch unboxings and try-ons just like everybody else, right? So I started watching Target videos because I wanted to see what other people had to say. Not to change my opinion about it, but just to see what the perception was, right? And the thing that I was consistently hearing on Target videos were that the quality of Target was better than the quality of Walmart. I can tell you that the price points of Target, to me, are slightly higher. Is the quality better? In some pieces, yes, and in some pieces, no. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this top that I have on from Target. This is $22.99. This is a plaid with the same V-neck cut out here at the neck. It has the same roll tab sleeve. I will wear this as a front tuck as I always do with this type of top. This is by the brand Time and True. Only the difference is the one that I have on here is $22.99 and this one is $15.44. They feel almost identical to me. I like them equally. As far as handbags go, I personally tend to go hands-free with a crossbody and I carry a smaller purse. I thought this one from Target was so pretty. I love the sage green color. I love the bamboo handles and the little fringe, of course, speaks to my inner hippie chick. This particular one is $32.99 and it has a nice texture to it. It's the perfect size for me and I love the crossbody strap. However, for the price, I really wish that these straps were detachable so that if I wanted to, I could carry it by the rings. But other than that, I really like this purse a lot. I want to show you one that I picked up from Walmart so that we can compare. Here's a crossbody bag that I picked up just recently at Walmart. It's in this mustard color that I've been loving so much this year. This one also has the tassel detail that just speaks to my inner hippie chick. The main difference is this is $16.97, nearly half the cost of the Target bag. This one also does not have detachable straps, but it doesn't have that ring handle that I would carry it by anyway. I'll bring this in tighter to show you. So this is the Walmart bag and you can see that it has this cute stud detail running all along the perimeter. The back does have a side slit pocket. There's plenty of room in the interior for me and I'll show you that. Here's the interior of the Walmart bag and you can see that it has the zippered compartment on the inside. It has a slot pocket here. It also has the slip pocket on the back. Here's the interior of the Target bag, and this one does have a zippered pocket inside. It's a little bit hard to see, but it does have a slip pocket as well that looks like it would be plenty big enough for a cell phone. As much as I love the way this looks and I love the color of this, I also wish there were an exterior pocket on the back. I like the clean lines of the way it looks without the pocket on the front but a slip pocket of some sort or maybe a zippered pocket for keys on the back would have made this a winner for me. What do you think of this bag? Let me know in the comments down below. So here are the two bags side by side and you can see that they're similar in size. They're both going to hold everything that I personally carry. I prefer a smaller bag. This one is $16.97 I believe and this one is $32.99, so that's a pretty big price difference to me. Let's talk about price point versus quality for just a second. Some of the pieces in Target clearly felt like better quality to me, and some of them I thought were nearly identical. When I was standing in line to make my Target purchase, the one thing I did notice is that total kept going up and up and up much more rapidly than when I shop at Walmart. So there is a pretty substantial difference when I'm picking out an entire vignette or an entire capsule wardrobe between Walmart and Target, and I just wanted to point that out. If a piece is hands down superior quality from Target, I will tell you, but if it's very similar to what I've shown you from Walmart, I'm going to tell you that as well. So let's look at some more pieces. So I have on several pieces from Target in this shot, and I'm showing you a clip on the side, hopefully. I have on a duster length cardigan, a necklace, a pair of skinny jeans, a belt, and a tee, and I wanna go through the prices. This cardigan is $27.99. 
Now, whereas the Walmart one is ribbed and has a belt, this one is not ribbed, but has pockets. So that is something to consider. However, the Walmart cardigans are $16.96. So again, a pretty substantial difference in pricing. Personally, I'm willing to forgo the pockets and use the belt on the ribbed style, but I do love this rust color and I will give the points to Target for having this particular color. The closest color that Walmart had to this, let me grab it and show you. One of the Walmart dusters that I know I'll get a tremendous amount of use from is this cognac color. I showed this with so many outfits. I wish that Walmart had had a color like this, so that's the only downside, but that's why I'm showing you both options. So again, the Walmart one has the ribbing and a belt, but no pockets. And the Target one is more of a smooth texture, but has pockets. Both dusters do have the long walking slits, which I do appreciate. So this one is $16.96 and the one that I have on is $27.99. The belt that I have on, which is from Target, is $16. And I have to tell you right up front, it is not particularly well made. You'll see it when I'm showing you the full outfit. And when I compare it to the belts that I got at Walmart, even at full price, there is no comparison. And in fact, I'm going to grab one of the belts from Walmart to show you. Now I realize that the belts are different in both color and in style, but I like this one from Walmart so much more. I'm going to bring this in tight and show you. This one has a stud detail and a silver buckle. And at regular full price, this is $12. And I bought this very specifically to go with the cream duster. Let me show you those together. So I picked up this belt to pair with this duster because I think it'll tie a lot of outfits together. In contrast, this is the belt from Target. Now, I'm not going to lie, I do like this double ring design, and I know that that's very on trend, but I can tell you that the pleather that this is made out of feels very flimsy to me for $16. I actually wish that Walmart had a version of this belt because I would be all over it. Another thing that I want to talk about are the shoes that I'm wearing with this outfit, and these are the ones by Universal Thread. These are a size 8, and these are $24.99. I'm going to bring these in tight to show you. They're just a slip on, they do not have a zipper. They're made out of some sort of pleather, I'm sure. And this is the grip. And I wanna show you while I'm in tight, the Walmart shoes that I think are very comparable. So these are similar shoes from Walmart and I wanna take back what I said about them being comparable because in my opinion, these are better for a number of reasons. And these do come in a number of colors, including a color that's very similar to the ones that I just showed you. These happen to be like a champagne color with a little bit of a metallic sheen. And the treads are very similar to the one that I just showed you from Target. A couple of major differences with the Walmart shoes are these are $14.98 and they have a zipper for easy on and off. Because they feel identical when I have them on my foot, I'm definitely going to give the points in this category to Walmart for the shoe like this. And here's a wide shot just to show you how similar they are. Now we all love our inner lumberjack, come to find out. I was so happy to hear that many of you ladies knew exactly what I was talking about. Fall comes around and I just can't wait to dress like a lumberjack. I don't know what it is. So hello to all my fellow inner lumberjacks. I've got a hippie chick group and a lumberjack group so far going. We'll see what else we can get going. This is a flannel from Target. It is by Universal Thread. It is $19.99, which I think is a great price point. This definitely has more of that classic flannel feel. I also love this muted mustard gold. You know this has been really popular this year. And I'll show you this on. But I have to say that out of these two, that I'll show you the Walmart one, this one is really calling my name right now. I'm thinking this is going to be a keeper, so be sure and mention in the comments down below which one you prefer. But let me show you the Walmart plaid that I bought. So this is one of my favorite plaids from Walmart, and this is $15.44. This, however, feels more like a woven. It is definitely not a flannel. It is lighter weight. This one has the roll tab sleeves and the one that I showed you from Target does not. And I don't object to that because I will simply cuff the sleeves on that one. This particular plaid I did decide to keep from Walmart. It just has my name written all over it. I love navy blue. 
I love the teal and the aqua in this. These colors are my jam. I think it looks really good with the white t-shirt. So even though this isn't a true flannel, I really like it and I like the option of the roll tab sleeves. Before I get up and do another presto changeo with the outfits, I wanted to show you this striped top from the brand A New Day from Target. This is $12.99 and I think that's very reasonable. The knit on this feels very soft, very cozy. I love this color. I bought it to also wear with this cardigan that I have on because again, Walmart didn't have this color. And I meant to mention when I showed you this cardigan initially, that they had this cardigan in a lot of the colors that Walmart had in the ribbed ones with the tie, but the only one that I purchased at Target was this one and it was because I couldn't get this color at Walmart. The striped top that I think resembles the striped one from Target most at Walmart is this one by the brand Time & True. I did show this in a previous haul. I did decide to keep it. Even though I love fall colors, I still love my blue, right? So this one is only $10.94. This one has a little bit of texture. It's almost like a fine gauge rib knit. Very, very fine though. And the quality of this feels equally as nice as the Target shirt, right? But I picked up the Target one because Walmart did not have that color combination and I love that color combination. This next comparison is not an exact match, but I think it's close enough for the point that I'm trying to make. If you're looking for a tunic length top in a gray, this one from Target has a lovely feel to it. It is baby blanket soft. The one that I showed you from Walmart is a loose cowl neck and about the same length, and both are sleeveless, that's why I picked this one. This is by the brand A New Day, and this one is $14.99. Now I have to tell you that even though that sounds high to me compared to the Walmart ones, the feel of this is just lovely. As my comparison top, I did pull this ribbed knit cowl neck sleeveless top from Walmart, and the big difference to me is the price. The Walmart top is only $8.44, but I have to concede that you get a completely different look with a, a scoop neck rather than a cowl neck, so I have to kind of say they're about even. The Target one has a beautiful feeling fabric, but the cowl neck I think adds visual interest. So even though the Target one is more, I would still pay that even though I own this one. This peep toe booty that has a suede feel to it just as a point of reference is $32.99. I love the detail on here. I love the stacked heel. It feels like it has a lot of cushioning and in fact, when you look on the inside, you can really see it. It's cushioned right here. These have been very comfortable as I've walked around my house in them. I don't wanna wear them outside until I am absolutely certain that I am keeping them. I love the aesthetic of these shoes. They feel quality to me. Do I think that they are worth $32.99? I would say that that is still a reasonable price. If I saw these in a Macy's or a Nordstrom, I would expect these to be probably in excess of $50. So I will give Target credit for having very stylish shoes. I found these to be very comfortable. That's what the tread looks like. And I wanna show you real quick, just in case you didn't see the ones that I go on and on about from Walmart. And I do realize that this is a different color, but very, very similar in style. Otherwise, one thing that the Walmart shoes have that the Target shoes do not have is elastic goring. And what I mean by that is I would have preferred that this part right here be a little bit stretchier. I think that's going to make the difference as to how comfortable they are. You can see when I hold these both up side by side that the stacked heel is roughly the same height. They are roughly the same pitch. They both have a suede look and I realize that they're two different colors but I think that they're very similar in style. So between these two shoes, which one do I think won? I'm going to say that this is a tie as well. If you're looking for a lower price point, I love the quality of these at just $19.98. If you're looking for a little bit different of a style or a lighter color and I wasn't able to find anything quite like this at Walmart, these are $32.99 and I would say that that is reasonable. But let me know in the comments down below which pair you prefer. 
So the next thing I'd like to talk about are the tees from both Target and Walmart. So I have on a white scoop neck tee from Target and these sell for $8, which is a very fair price, I believe. They also had these in V-neck, they just didn't have my size. My preference is actually V-neck. So I wanna show you a couple of the Walmart ones just as a point of reference. So this is a Walmart tee, and this is the V-neck, and this is, I believe, $4.44. So almost half the cost. Both came in a lot of colors. Both feel very soft. They both are about the same thickness. I like them equally. So I have to give the price point to Walmart on this one. Target also has the striped tees, as does Walmart. So this is an example of the striped tee from Target. And while I'm in pretty tight, I wanna show you a cropped version by Levi Strauss. These are from Walmart. And I do wanna point out that $23.94, these are nearly identical in price. And to me, it's a real toss up with the quality. Here are the two side by side. They are both a classic five pocket style. The universal thread ones happen to have distressing, which I like in a lot of instances, but they're very, very similar. They have about the same amount of stretch. They're equally comfortable. If I had to say which one feels better in my hand, in this instance, I'm going to go with the universal thread ones. So in the interest of time, I wanna show you several pieces of jewelry that I picked up at Target because you know how much I love my Walmart jewelry and especially the Walmart clearance pieces but I would be remiss if I didn't show you comparable items in Target so that you can see what's out there as well. So I'm going to come in tight and show you several pieces. I'm also going to show you some pieces that I just picked up from Walmart that are new to the fall collection that I hadn't seen until yesterday in store and these haven't even been featured in one of my Walmart videos. So I want to show you these pieces now while they're still in store. So we're going to start with Target and I'll tell you which is which as I go. So this first necklace I did get at Target, and this is by the brand A New Day. I love the wicker component and the very neutral color of these tassels. And I know that I keep talking about it, but I think this will really tie an outfit together with the ivory or winter white colored sweater that I got from Walmart. This has a very fine gold tone chain. This necklace was originally $16.99. Would I have ever paid that for this particular necklace? Honestly, no, I would not. The clearance price is $11.88. And I think you know this is being returned. But I did want to point this out that I did not find the mega deals at Target on the clearance rack. And this is a really good example of that. So let me show you some more. This is the necklace that I've had on through most of this video. It is by Universal Thread. It is $16.99. It is gold tone. It is a layered look and very lightweight. And although I think this is really pretty and I could get a lot of use out of a style like this, honestly, I have so many pieces from Walmart that I paid as little as $3 for that for $16.99, I just can't justify it. This is another pair of clearance earrings, and this is by the brand, I want to say it's called Sugar Fix. These are very textured. They almost feel like, I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, Druzy or Drews. I love the neutral top color of these. These were originally $12.99 on clearance for $9.08. And let me show you another one. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you know none of my jewelry hauls would be complete without at least one stretchy bracelet. And I do love this one. I love the little charms that are on it. It very much matched the plaid shirt that I had on at the very beginning of this video. This bracelet is $9.99, and I will concede that it is very well made. This bracelet has a substantial feel without being too heavy, and I don't own anything like this particular one. So I'm on the fence about keeping this one, so let me know what you think of it. Do you think it's worth $9.99? This is a magnetic layered bracelet by Universal Thread. It is $12.99. I say that like it's $1,000, right? But you know that I showed you one very recently in a Walmart haul that had this exact same type of clasp that is magnetic, so it's easy to get on and off and to still get the layered look. I loved this one because of the burgundy color. 
So I would love to know from you, do you think this bracelet is worth $12.99? Like most people, I do not have an infinite amount of money and I have to spend wisely. And although I really like this and I love the burgundy color, I don't know that I can justify that price unless you think it's something really special. This pair of earrings is by the brand A New Day and these are $7.99. These are as light as a feather, but have a really nice presence. I believe I had these on at the very beginning of this video. I really like these a lot, but I have to tell you that I've seen some very similar at Walmart for about half the price. So let me know what you think of these. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the winning item from this entire haul was this bracelet that Melody told me about. So again, thank you to Melody. $9.99 compared to $32 from Stitch Fix. Now it wouldn't be fair to show you clearance jewelry from Walmart compared to full price jewelry from Target. So I have intentionally, and it was hard for me, pulled some full price brand new jewelry from Walmart. And I want to show those to you now just to show you what I'm talking about. That just overall, I think that Walmart has hands down the best jewelry selection at the best prices. So let me show you a couple of the new pieces that I have not shown you before. I'm going to come in tight to show you. These are all going to be by the brand Time and True unless I state otherwise. I have crazy thick hair so I can get away with larger earrings. I love these tassel earrings in this wine color and full price brand new into the store only $5.92. And how pretty are these multicolored large hoops again by the brand Time and True. $5.92. These are going to go with so many fall pieces in my wardrobe. I love this next necklace because it's very long and can be very slimming when worn with a duster or a solid colored top. This one has these pretty amber stones. My birthday is in November and my birthstone is actually the citrine, the yellow kind of colored stone. So this does remind me somewhat of my birthstone. And this one is $9.92 full price, time and true at Walmart. Now I showed you the earrings that are this multicolored acrylic. And here is a necklace. It is a long necklace. I love the tassel. It has a gold tone chain. I think this is so pretty. And it's $9.92. And I'll bring this in even closer so that you can see the detail. It has some really pretty colors in there. Lately, I've been wanting to try some rose gold tone pieces, and these earrings caught my eye. They have a lot going on with little sparkly details and rhinestones. They're both silver tone and rose gold tone, and they're only $5.92 full retail from Walmart. Of course, we all know how popular the animal print is. This reminds me very much of an animal print. These are an acrylic with a gold tone, little beaded circle in the center. And most of these have the clear stoppers on the back. And these are only $5.92 also. I rarely buy No Boundaries jewelry. I find that they're a little bit young in style typically and not as well made. But I have to say that I was very impressed with this pair of earrings, enough to pick them up. I cannot believe that for this price point they have the hugger style earring, which is so much easier than the loose little stoppers that go on the back. I like the sparkle and the carved out detail. This almost reminds me of the old fashioned door knockers. And these were only $3.88. And again, this is the only pair by No Boundaries. When I was digging through the new jewelry, when I saw these, I audibly gasped out loud. I hope nobody heard me in the next style over. I think these are stunning. I wear gray a lot and these would look beautiful with a gray cardigan, but how pretty would these be at the holidays because of the star motif? I love the dangle, the sparkle. Now you may be wondering which one I prefer. Do I prefer Walmart or do I prefer Target? And honestly, it depends on the item. I couldn't find a duster in this rust color, so I give that to Target, right? But I didn't find a winter white one like the one that I found at Walmart, so Walmart got that point. But what I want to know is what you think. Do you think I got better pieces at Walmart or Target for this fall series? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm dying to know.
Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.